Hello, my name is Karak32, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I am just over by my mixer here because I am replacing a couple of these casings. And the reason for that is because one, I need more I need more hatches to for recipes. So I added another one for the uh, circuits two and another one for the circuit one um, just because I was full up on like recipes um, but I also need a um, I need a hatch for oxygen and I forgot about that when I originally built it I did build one for the distilled water but didn't put one for oxygen because that's kind of a new a new fluid that I've kind of needed here um, for my mixer and I need that so I can do the superconductor base because if we look at that it does require oxygen All right, so just wanted to I think that I think it's set did I yeah, all right sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't so that one didn't and I have no idea what uh, determines that uh, but yeah, so basically I just wanted to set up the superconductor now. I need indium, and I have a bunch of indium, but if we look at this, that is four indium for 30. That is a lot of indium. And barium. Barium's another one that I don't have a whole lot of. Um, I do have barite, though. Don't you just... Yeah, you electrolyze this for barium. Oh, it is six to one. I mean, that's not a great ratio at all. Should have. Yeah, I have plenty of room. So. All right, we'll get some more of that. Anyway, so let me. Uh, We'll set this up and then, uh, oh, see, now there's a three. <laughs> so many different things. Uh, I don't know. I could probably throw that in one of the other ones that I have, or I could do an in input bus. Uh, decisions. Yeah, I think I'll just probably throw that in a one of the ones that I already have. And if there's a conflict, we will figure it out uh, when it comes up. Anyway, let me just kind of finish this up and uh, come back. All right, so we are back. And I've run into a bit of a problem here. And again, I don't know if it's a bug or I'm doing it wrong. But it appears that we have a conflict. Now, if we look at this input bus, I'll pull that out. I'll put the three in. If we do the superconducting in a mixer, you need a program of three. Um, EV, which it's IV, so we're good. We got the copper, the indium, and everything. It should produce superconductor, but if I go ahead, I even upgraded my input hatch. If I throw all this in, it's gonna create bronze uh, with the copper and the tin. And we look at bronze dust. Bronze dust is in a mixer with a circuit of one. So there isn't even a circuit of one in this. So it's probably reading one of these circuits, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of this multi-block being able to Put different circuits in different input hatches, unless that is just not how it's meant to be. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how to get around that without it crafting the, the tin dust. It just doesn't even recognize the, the superconductor base recipe at all. I can't get it to craft this at all. Never mind, like, conflicting with the... Uh, the recipe so I don't know I'm 
I really don't want to have to craft another mixer again. I was hoping that would replace them all, but uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about that at the moment. Um, so I guess we'll just do, for now I'll just throw it in this one. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can <laughs> figure that out later. But anyway, uh, moving on, I wanted to, well, first of all, like, I'm kind of, I want to work towards uh, the, the fusion reactor, obviously. That's kind of like the main goal for the age I'm in, I think. And it's going to take a very long time. Just realized I left the superconductor base back here. Um, so I got to come up with kind of stuff like in between that I can kind of work towards. And one of those things I like to do is kind of automate everything, uh, that will, um, that will work towards kind of, yeah, I don't know if that's such a long cook time. Uh, there's no argon in there, so it's doing the longer, but it's only 30 seconds longer. I'll just leave it just to kind of cook up. Um, so yeah, um, I think I really would like to get this LUV hatch built today. And uh, like I said, we have everything automated right here. I need to create a recipe for that, but this ultra high, that is definitely an issue. Yeah, like this is an issue <laughs> for sure. Because I don't have anything. I'm trying to remember. Didn't I? I thought I crafted these before. Anyway, let me uh, kind of figure out what I want to do here so I'm not kind of running around bumming and eyeing a bit, and we will come back. All right, so I'm back, and I figured I think I'm going to rearrange some stuff here. If that would end up in my inventory. Where'd it go? Um, so basically, I'm going to put another input hatch here. Oh, I left the thing in the my A system, and I'm going to put the output hatch here, I think. Because I need another channel over here. So we'll put that there. Oh, I'm running out of cables as well. I have to craft up, craft up some more of those. I think I have enough. Yeah, I have enough. Although I'm at like, yeah, I only have room for one more over here, I think. I just wanted to split that because I needed to throw another one up there. Basically, what I was going to do is turn this... Oops, wrong one. Turn the... That chemical reactor into an LUV chemical reactor for the high-powered circuits. I forgot I crafted the... Uh, I did craft the LUV things. I thought I did. I couldn't remember, though. I walked in here and totally forgot they're right behind me. Um... So I'm thinking if I do the LV, LUV energy hatch on that chemical reactor, I could probably do... I could use this instead of having to uh, attach that one in the, uh, the clean room up. So 
Cutting machine I still don't have though, unfortunately. So I need four Nequada and two Vanadium Gallium. So I'm thinking just, I don't really use these very often. So I'm thinking I will just manually extract that stuff as needed. Um, Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. So, like, if I need one, so we'll throw, like, two vanadium, and then I'll do, like, Nequada. Obviously, I need to cook up the Nequada. That doesn't... No, that doesn't give me... I couldn't remember if that gave me... Uh, radiation poisoning. So, obviously, I would have to craft these up uh, beforehand, but... Uh... Yeah, uh, let me finish crafting up this stuff. I need to get this back and uh... Oh, I have no room for a Nequada. I really need to upgrade this as well so I can get I have room for this. All right, we are back and I got my fluid exports and I got the capacity card and I think I think we're full on channels now on this side. I think I have, yeah, I think I have 32, but I'm thinking, I don't know if this is how these work, but I think if I put that in the middle and that up top, I think it'll do the center one first, um, but I don't know for sure. Um, so let's kind of test that out. I know I could probably use the factory manager and this would make it easier, but uh, let's go, let's throw both of those in there. And see which one it put in. All right, so it did do the center one first, which I thought it kind of did. Um, so let's, let's do this. So I need the PIC wafer. Have I even? I don't even know if, no, I haven't automated that even. This plus, what was it? The vanadium and the two indium gallium. And then that should, that'll do the PIC one, I think. The high powered one. Ooh, that is 60 seconds. All right, so then the next one, I'll do the same. It should have, it'll use up the vanadium gallium and then there it goes, it puts the Nequada in, which I can then use for the next one. But obviously the next one needs the upgraded, the upgraded uh, chemical reactor. So I think eventually we're gonna get all these upgraded. Um, but I'm trying to decide if I want to make more batteries or should I do, yeah, I may just borrow this for now. Just got to make sure I don't, yeah, I don't want to break this one that's working. All right, we're good. So let's go ahead and we'll break this. Break that. Put the LUV energy hatch in. And then we'll just do this. All right, so we'll just kind of, that's kind of a temporary little thing here. Oops. Until I can get the, uh, until I can get like LEV lines running. But I think that will, it should work. What's it called? HPIC. For a second, I was worried we didn't get it. All right, so we'll do that. 
And then the next one is that. And that I need one more of this indium. This is really fast in that industrial mixer. At least it should be. Yep, there it is. And then if we put this back in, you may need to hit this. Yep, there it goes. Now, question is, well, I should be able to do, this shouldn't run out. If I'm doing a large amount of them, that might be a bit of an issue. This should start draining. Yep, there it goes. So if I'm doing like six of them at once, this might be an issue because I'm only supplying it one amp, is it? Um, max in two amps. So maybe it's getting two amps. Well, actually, I can just check right here. Yeah, so it's getting two amps of IV, which is obviously not enough. Um, but it should be enough to do that. So I'm thinking, hopefully, if I do, yeah, that should work. The question is, will it do the, the fluids in order if I do like both of them in there at once? Let me, uh, I guess, well, I don't really need to test this out quite yet. I'll worry about that in a second, but, uh, H, yeah, HPIC, we'll get that. I think that'll work. And I think it is this one, let's, I'm just gonna rearrange these just so they're kind of like together, oops. All right, but anyway, let me get the rest of the stuff crafted up for the, uh, dynamo here and then we'll get that crafted and we are back and it looks like we got everything for this I rearranged the fluids and I just realized I forgot to put the stuff in a pattern here Um, probably won't be able to use it at first, but uh, might as well have it. And hopefully this works. Helps if I put the actual thing in. Yep, there it goes. Nice. All right, so there is the LUV Dynamo. Now I can finally, I'm going to have to craft up another one of those, but I can finally replace that with a LUV and upgrade my power a little bit here. I may do that one first, actually. Oh, I don't know. Got to think about this. And uh, I think I've decided I'm going to do the HSSG cables. If we look at the different types of cables. There's HSSG, niobium, titanium, vanadium, gallium. Vanadium, gallium is probably the easiest to make, but gallium is not the easiest. I mean, it's easy to get, but I don't want to have to use more than I need. So I think HSS is what I'm gonna use for that. And the nice thing about these is they're all max, you can do four amps in one. So if we look at like the top tier, you can do 64 amps in one. One thing, so that is pretty, pretty nice. I knew how to spell here. Uh, there it is. Go down. Get all that. I won't put that in there for now. 
All right, so that is feels pretty good. Um, I'm probably not going to do a lot of this uh, while recording. It's going to take me some time just to kind of sort out how I want to do this. And I'm also going to have to craft up um, craft up some transformers as well. Now, the question is, do I want to do the one amp or should we upgrade this really easily to a four amp? That's a buffered one. I don't really like the buffered ones. Yeah, so I'd probably do this one, which is just a couple chrome, some vanadium wires, and then the silver. I don't need a buffer on a large buffer anyway. Yeah. All right, so let me uh, kind of sort out what I want to do here and we will be back. All right, I'm back just kind of doing some cleanup of the cables. We got the HSS, which has four amps. We got an LUV four amp dynamo. Just double checking everything is the right uh, voltage here. So we don't need any explosions. All right, so I've done a few um, IV uh, transformers just because they're so easy to make. All right, and then the last one is kind of over here and I will hook up this as well. And now I'm looking at this, I might not have enough cables um so we'll see oops anyway let me uh kind of finish up here and we'll come back all right we are back and as we can see i have gone ahead and placed all my cabling i made it pink because that's kind of like the tear color i guess but uh yeah, pretty basic. Just have four transformers, I think. And I will slowly upgrade the other machines and I need to replace all these. I need to get these all upgraded um, to IV at least. And then I can just have like, I'd probably move this one down to like here maybe and send it off. But uh, anyway, that's kind of what we're looking at now. I have placed my assembly machine here. It's directly on the line, so that actually isn't a problem running anymore. Um, I don't have it hooked up. I could probably... Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anywhere. These are all the P2P things, so I don't have anywhere really to connect recipes for it, but anyway. Um, so I've been kind of looking up the fusion reactor. This is, like I said multiple times, this is the main gate. The ZPM circuits need a fusion reactor and a lot of things here. Um, we need Euro europium to continue. And so that needs a fusion reactor. Um, so like we looked at before, uh, we need 32 superconducting coil blocks for the inner, the inner like coil of the fusion reactor. And, uh, we need one more for the actual fusion, the um, the actual controller for the fusion. So I need 33 superconducting coil blocks. And as we know, they need 64 uh, 2x superconducting wires here. So I did a bit of math and minus the 49 ingots that I've already made, I am going to need Two thousand and seventy more, seventy-nine more ingots of the superconducting uh, ingots, the super superconducting base ingots. So that's just for the fusion reactor. That doesn't include anything extra with me uh, upgrading to LUV hatches or anything like that. Um, so as we can see, it's actually not as bad as I was thinking it would be, like on material cost. The indium, though, 
is the main problem here. So I need 268 of those. Um, but I can just continue to run my replicator. Oh, we got some more in there. I didn't even realize. So I can continue to run this, get the indium that we need, um, and slowly build that up. Now, the materials aren't that bad, but if we look at the superconducting superconductor base, we look at this. Now this is gonna be a problem because we're talking 2000 ingots at 200 something seconds. We're talking how many hours? We're talking like 150 hours of constant smelting for this one blast furnace. So I think it's time that we finally uh, look into expanding my blast furnace here. So I think um, I'm going to start crafting up. I'll probably do this in between episodes because we've already put this together multiple times. Um, so I'm going to craft up the next uh, the components that I'm going to need for it. Now we don't have to do the whole thing again. I can just add on to it. So basically what we're going to be looking at is kind of like this. Obviously I'm going to move it over so it's uh, it's centered. Um, but yeah, so that will be kind of, I'll move it over one so it's centered, but I'll have two blast furnace. And instead of having to craft 16 coils, I only have to do eight, uh, 10, I think it is. Um, for each one we, we need to add. I could even add a third one if I wanted, if I leave it there. Uh, obviously, I won't be able to get to the back, but uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to craft up all this stuff in between episodes. I'm going to go ahead and start crafting up the superconducting base ingots as well. We'll just kind of get that going. Um, and we'll check out how the how these work when they're getting shared. I don't know how that, like, do maintenance hatches, if I put it here, is that going to share in between the two of them? I have really no idea. Um, so I think next episode we will work on that. Um, and that's kind of where we're at tech-wise, I think. Um, obviously, we can continue to upgrade our single block machines into multi-block, so I'll continue to do that. Um, but I think also, uh, before we wrap up this episode, I know I didn't get a whole lot accomplished, but we're kind of in a transition period here. I want to do a little bit of magic because I think I want to upgrade my miners, at least so I don't have to keep going to go drop in like uh, fuel and the drilling fluid and stuff like that. So I think it would be kind of cool if we look into getting the ender chests and stuff. So we got our two ender chests we're going to have to craft, which I mean, this isn't bad at all. Um, but we need a ton of aspects for that. We're going to need two of those. If I want to do fuel and lubricant, it's, we're going to need four of these. So we're talking like a thousand aspects each. And I'm not about to go run, running around waiting for nodes to fill up here um, because that is seriously boring. So what I want to do, and I think I am ready to start transporting some of the nodes back to the base and build up a node here, like a big node that I can just charge my wand off of it so I don't have to keep running around. Um, obviously we have a whole bunch of nodes. I know where they are. There's a lot in the Twilight Forest and stuff. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and grab a node and bring it back to the base um, and get that started. Um, so we're going to need a node stabilizer. It's basically the same as what we did downstairs with the Ignis, but I want one with all aspects on it. So I think I'm going to do... I'm going to craft one of these nodes. Yeah, we'll craft this. I think I have enough. Yeah, I'm full. My wand's full here. So let me craft this up and uh, fill up my wand again and see if we can move a node back to the base.
All right, we are back. And I'm going to try to get this node it is Radicio and Ordo. So basically, we don't know how this works. I'm going to go ahead and try to surround this in glass. I get above this with this flying thing yeah oh my goodness all right so basically just surround this man these things are so annoying sometimes it makes it so difficult to do anything all right there we go Basically a three by three by three, and then the one in the middle is empty for the node. Then we place half slabs, and I think spruce works. And then right click it with a wand. There it goes, it bottles it up, uh, a node in the jar. And then we can transport this back to our base. There was a bunch of slimes that I had to kill on the way. Did I even open that door? I think I just went through it without even opening it. I'm curious. Yeah, it looks like when you have this stuff on, it is cheaper. So I think I'm going to do my node like just right here, I think. I'm not going to do anything super fancy. Um, but basically, we'll just put the node here. Right click. And there we go. We move the node to our base. And it, what if we scan it? Can we scan it again? No, it is pale, unfortunately. Um, and that is one of the things that can happen with uh, transporting nodes. Now, I believe the advanced node stabilizer will fix the pale aspect of it, I think. Um, but it takes a long time. And it needs dangerous, so I don't know. I may end up doing this um, but for right now I think we'll just leave it as pale um, but basically what we can do is first I need to fill my wand back up again now I can do it from this I believe so this is one of the benefits of bringing the the stuff back but basically I can bring another node back and it should like suck the aspects into this one and grow this node uh, so let me uh let me um let me charge my wand back up again and we'll come back and see that how that works and we are back and i have uh, another node here now the one i have the base is perdicio and ordo so this one is aqua terra so this is a decent node unfortunately it does go to pale but uh not the end of the world. So we'll just head back to the base really quickly. All right, so now I believe if I just throw these down, the this one node will like absorb this one that I'm about to place down. Pretty sure. Um, if we look at which one is it under this one prevents the node from draining V from other nodes. Oh, so I may need to turn this off uh, so it can drain. So let's grab a I think a lever should work. And hopefully, yeah, I think I got this right. Prevents the node from draining V from, secondly, it prevents unstable nodes from losing their V. Uh, the other thing is I could just, 
if I want, I could just... Because I feel like that's going to drain from this node. Maybe I will just... No, I kind of want this to absorb. Um, why don't we go ahead and place this down, though? And maybe I'll craft another another thing here, maybe? I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. All right, so that shouldn't have an issue. Um, but there we go. We have two nodes back in the base that I can actually recharge my wand from. Um, so that is much easier than having to run around and pick up other ones. So what do I need? I need water and aqua and ignis. So maybe uh, in between episodes, I'll go and do that. Um, and also start crafting up all the naquata that we need for the coils. So I have a bunch of stuff I need to do here um, in between episodes. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.